it's me, Mark. I'm here behind, in front of my Hyundai Sonata 2010 V6 model. This is the NF version. Um, it's between the 2006 and 2010. That's the Sonata NF versions. After that, you got the YF between the 2011 and I believe to 2014. And then it carries on to the LF versions. So this is the one that we're working with. Um, what I have here is this chrome garnish that I'm, gonna, I'm planning on removing and then wrapping it with a white 3M film. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like the contrast between white, chrome, and black. I kind of want to keep it just white, white, and then black. Keep it all white here. So it just, it, it looks odd the way I see it. Every single time I uh, take a look, take a photo, take a glance at the car, and I see this chrome garnish, it kind of just eliminates the having that clean flush. It seems like it kind of has like that chrome mustache, which I don't like. So that's what I'm planning on doing today. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, so once you pop the hood and you wanna remove this chrome garnish that you have right here, you're gonna see some screws. You're gonna see right there, a bolt here, then the other bolt here, and that's just on the right side. Then you gotta deal with the other two right here. Now get a socket and just remove all four, and then this will be easy to take out, and then you can start your um, your wrap. I suggest that you get one of these wristbands here. This is one of my brands that I, uh, one of my items that I do sell online in my store. It's a wristband, it's a magnetic wristband. So what you do is when you're working on your, when you're working on your engine and you're taking out screws, you can easily put it on your wrist instead of putting it on the side, having them fall inside the uh, engine bay. And that's it. You put this away. And then you just take this out. It's that simple. Okay, so once you take out the chrome garnish, take out the screws, then the, the items you're gonna need is this white film here, depending on the color of your car. If you have a black car, you're gonna need a black film or whatever film color you need. I choose white because I wanna keep it, I wanna keep the car um, white on white. And then you're gonna need a, a blade to cut any over excessive film. You're gonna need the, the um, some type of card or something to, to to apply pressure onto the film so there's no air bubble. And then the heat gun, and this is just the drill that I use to take out the garnish. All right, guys, so let's get started. Oh, and I almost forgot. So you're definitely gonna need some alcohol swipes to clean your gar to clean this piece here because you don't want to put a clean film onto something dirty. So you're gonna need some alcohol swaps. Clean it really, really good and then let it dry for a bit and then start putting the film using your heat gun. If one alcohol pad is not enough, which I don't think so, use an entire packet. I have about here six of them. So far I used one. Use as many as you wish. You want to make sure that it's completely dry. There's no dirt, no nothing, no sand, no salt. So we might be running into a problem here. As you can see, the chrome garnish is a little too, too big for the piece that I have here. Even if I put it in a straight line or across, it doesn't work. But so what I'm going to try to do do my best. I'm going to stretch the shit out of it to see if it, uh, if I can cover up most sides. If anything, it's the corners that are going to have a little stick out and then I'll, ju I'll just use another piece for another section and cover it up. I'll see. I mean, it's unfortunate. I may have to do it again. I'm going to do it now just for the sake of this video, but then I'm going to have to order a longer piece and then just peel it off and put the new one in. Okay guys, so this is the uh, final piece. I am not happy, I'm gonna have to redo it. Just like I showed you in my previous clip, it's 
the film is too short. It doesn't go past this part right here. So I had to cut another piece and then add it here. So that little line looks very tacky. I like to have things looking flush. So I'm gonna definitely have to re uh, order a new film and then redo it. But until then, I'm gonna leave it white because I like that white and white contrast. Then um, another thing that I don't know if you can see through the glare, there's this piece right here. That is not an air bubble. There's two of them right here, I believe. One, two, right here, these two. That's the uh, chrome garnish that has marks from me hitting um, from dust marks or debris marks. So those marks are sticking out and I have to sand it down so I can give it that smooth look. But overall, I'm happy. I'm again over here too. This marks right here. But I'm going to redo it. I'm going to sand. Now that I know, I'm going to just sand it all down. Keep it smooth. And then um, give it the new wrap film. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm just wrapping it up here. As I'm looking at the hood and garnish, it looks very nice. I'm glad that I had wrapped it white. I like that smooth, clean look. Uh, following spring, summertime of next year, probably springtime, I'm going to paint it. Have it officially painted because I do like the white contrast i do need to paint this again uh there's a lot of dents on the hood from both sides i can see two five huge marks but i painted them with a paint marker um a couple of years ago i used to do a lot of commuting i used to commute six hours a day so that took a toll on the, on this hood here if you're doing well over 80 on the highway you're going to start hitting a lot of debris and whatever marks come your way it's going to leave a bad dent so this hood has seen better days. Uh, I'm gonna get it fixed, paint it white again, paint this white, and then I'm gonna try to get this painted black as well. But guys, thank you for watching. I'll probably make another video once the correct size comes in, then peel this off and do it correctly. All right guys, thanks for watching.